Hi guys, it's Mr B here and today we're going to be looking at angles on a line and angles on around a point and seeing how we can find missing angles without being able to use a protractor. Now, we need to use something that we know about angles on a line and angles on a point in order to find out and that's how many degrees is in each of them. First we're going to look at a line and then we're going to look at a point. What I mean by how many degrees is this is a straight line angle, okay? Imagine this is the point in the middle there, and we've got one line turned all the way around, and that is 180 degrees. All straight lines, 180 degrees. So what we're going to use, do is use that to help us find other angles, okay? So I'll show you exactly how. So if we have a straight line angle here, and we have another line coming off, and this is telling us here that that angle is 160. Now, because we know that the straight line is 180, if this is 160, this missing but here, the degrees must take us to 180. So I know if I count on 160, 170, 180, it's 20. This angle here must be 20 degrees. Okay, let's move it down here. So we have an angle there that's 55 degrees. On a straight line so we know this missing part is going to get us to 180 so two ways you can do it take your 55 off 180 or you can obviously count on whichever way you want to do it so i'm going to take it off this time so i've got 180 take off 50 that leaves 130 take off our five that leaves us with 125 so we haven't had to use a protractor and we can see that that's 125 Again, this one looks more complicated because we have two angles. However, it's still exactly the same. But this time, what we've got to do is add 24 and 32 together first. Okay, so we add those two together. We would get uh, 20, 30, 56 degrees. So these two angles are 56 degrees. So this angle must make the difference to 180. So again, we take it off. No, already. That, because I've just done, took on away 55, so I'm going to use that to be 56. So I'll know that this is 124 degrees. And lastly, we're going to look at this one. Now, this one looks like, oh, well, we don't know because we haven't got this angle. But because this is a square, we can see this is a right angle. So we know this must be 90 degrees. So we have 90 and 48. Do the same as here. Add them together. 90 degrees plus 48 degrees. And we're going to get 138 degrees. And then what we can do is find our way to 180 uh, in order to find out what our missing angle here is. This one I'm going to count on. If you notice what I've done, if I've got a large number here, I'll count on. If I've got a smaller number like 55, 56, and I'm going to take it off just because I'll find that quicker. Whichever way is best for you, that's fine. So 138, 2 to 140, and another 40 to 180. So that must mean that this angle is 42 degrees. Now, when you get questions like this in tests, what they tend to do is they don't draw the angles to sides because they're giving you the, uh, the questions in order to test your knowledge about angles on a straight line or angles around a point. So with these, don't think, all oh, right, well, I think it's this, I don't normally get a protractor. You, should normally, you wouldn't normally have a protractor in those exams, but if you use a protractor, you'll probably get the wrong uh, degrees because they've drawn the angle wrong just to make sure you can't do it. They'll probably tend to make sure it's either acute, obtuse, reflex, whichever it's supposed to look like, but they won't make it exact. This is us using our what we know, okay, in order to work out missing angles. Now let's have a look at uh, angles around a point and how we would find those out. Now let's look at angles around a point. Now we need to know how many degrees are in a full turn. So this angle goes all the way around, okay, around a full point, and that is 360 degrees. And again, we use this fact in order to find out all of these missing angles the same way we did with the straight line. So we have 200 degrees here. So to find this missing angle, we know it's 360, so we'll take 200 off from there. So this angle must be 160 degrees, because 360, take out 200, is 160. Quick double check, let's add them two together to see. 200 plus 160, 200 plus 1 is 300, plus our 60, 360. We know we've got that right. Let's move on to this one. This one, we've got angle 110, so we've got an angle here. It looks like a reflex angle. Okay, we know what that is. 
I'm going to take that of 360, so 260, and then take off my 10, 250, so it must be 250. You can see my pen there, so it's running out slightly. 250 degrees, okay. So you can see, let's do our check, 250 plus 110 is 360, so we're right. Again, if you've got more points on the angles, these are really complicated, but they're all the same. You just have to do one step uh, before extra, and that's adding these angles that we know up. So 210 plus 280 is 200, oh, sorry. 290. So I know these are 290, okay? So I'm going to count them to 360, 300, 300, and then run around at 60 there. So 60 out of 10 is 70. So missing angle must be 70 degrees. I apologize, my pen really running out. But that's 70 degrees. Add those all up and we'll get 360. The last one the same, we've got an extra angle, but it's still exactly the same. Okay, add these three up. So I've got 85 plus 95. So add them together, that comes to 180. Then add my 40 on, that would get me to 220. So I know this angle is whatever the difference is between 360 and 220. So let's work it out, let's take it off. So it leaves us 160 if I take the 200 off. Then take us, uh, the 20 off, it'll be 150, 140. So this must be 140 degrees. And I can double check by adding all those angles back up. So that's how you find uh, the degrees, missing, uh, sorry, degrees of missing angles on straight lines and around points. Hope you found that video useful guys, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already, you'll get notifications of any videos that I put up as and when I do. Please share it if you know anyone that will benefit from this and find it useful. And if you've got any questions or anything, comment or use the Twitter or the Facebook page. Till next time, see you later.